Hello, excuse me. Can you uh, tell me how to uh, get to Warmstown? Is it, uh, yeah, excuse me. Hi. Hello. Hi, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, hi guys. Today is Wednesday, August 11th, 2021. It is like one o'clock in the afternoon. It is 31 degrees, humid, hot, and um, yeah, I absolutely can't do anything again. I couldn't even put my hair up. Well, I did, but it took me forever and not the greatest job because the palms of my hands are so clammy, sticky, like they're wet. So I can't even like maneuver my hands in my hair to put it up in a ponytail or do anything. Whew. Look at how beautiful that barn is. The whole farmland is pretty. lucky if I got like a solid half an hour 45 minutes sleep the rest of the night was just tossing and turning looking you know for that cold spot in the sheets or in the pillow or whatever thing it's been pretty brutal let me tell you I truly am enjoying these uh, country country drives on the country roads it's so therapeutic but it's costing a lot of money gas Um, I am in therapy. I've been getting therapy. Uh, it was a year in May, so May, June, July. So yeah, 15 months now I've been in therapy every week. So I've been doing that and I'm so grateful for my therapist. This is not very good, but yeah, I'm really, really liking him. He does, um, I've only done the whole 15 months. I've done one EMDR session. And it was so powerful that it, I think it traumatized me again. It stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing or Reprogramming. You know, and it's a powerful, powerful technique. And I would recommend that to anyone that has any kind of trauma that they um, they can't get past themselves. Before the trauma, I was too trusting. Like I trusted anyone, anyone and everyone. You know, I really, really did. So that's kind of like, you know, dangerous, especially if you're a single woman traveling around or driving around in a van, you know, if you trust everyone, well, that's gonna lead to a lot of trouble, I imagine. But um, now I have zero trust, so that's a little bit ridiculous. Basically, what I'm trying to say is before I had too much trust, now I have zero trust. So I have to work on a like a happy medium balance. You know, this is, uh, it's not, it's not healthy. Like, how am I ever supposed to, you know, work if I don't trust people? Like, in order to make money, you, there's got to be people involved when you know some way somehow so yeah Whew. this here right that's my favorite well one of my favorites another one of my favorite barns I have a lot of uh, favorite barns but this one yes I just like it for some reason I'm gonna be really really honest right now if I was listening to my head I would be I would much rather be somewhere in complete isolation where I only have to come out to maybe get some uh, supplies like food and maybe some clothing and stuff like that but my heart my heart tells me well 
wait a minute, that's not being really helpful. You know, like, you need to make videos and tell your story and, you know, maybe that will help people. And then from there, you know, you'll figure out what else to do, you know, what you're going to do uh, for a living, you know, you'll, what you're going to do. So if you're, any of you are wondering what I do for money, um, I hate to admit this, um, and I guess that's just my ego. I mean, I am going to be 53 years old this year, and I've never um, was on the system. I've always worked, made my own money, supported my children, raised my children, got very little or sometimes no child support. Um, but anyways, right now, even though I am a certified life coach, I am on um, disability because of the trauma that, uh, it's hard for me, you can probably tell on the video, it's hard for me to say that, but that's what I'm on right now. And instead of looking at it being a bad thing, um, I'm trying to look at it as, I'm trying to be grateful for it because at least now I don't have to figure out um, how I'm going to uh, get money to feed myself and the things that I need for uh, my basic needs. Well, my basic needs are being met right now so that I can focus on healing and um, what I'm going to do for a living because even though I'm a certified life coach at the Proctor Gallagher Institute, I don't feel, I don't feel like a life coach. Basically what it is, it's just a, a salesperson selling their material. That's it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I believe, like this is in my opinion, the uh, Thinking Into Result program, the one that I facilitated, I think that's next to, uh, well, yeah, it's got to be one of the best. I'm going to pull over. Somebody's behind me and he's, uh, he's getting, oh, now he's turning. Great. <laughs> he was behind me the whole time, like right on my butt, but I was going like 10 kilometers under the speed limit. But um, yeah, so anyways, I just feel like a salesperson. You know, they call it the thinking into result, T-I-R, thinking into result, facilitator. I mean, you can call yourself a life coach, you can call yourself a mentor, you can call yourself a consultant, you can call yourself whatever you want. Oop, batteries are going dead. You can basically call yourself whatever you want once you get certified as a TIR facilitator. So to me, there's that I'm gonna talk more about, like when I start making, like talking more about my life experience, what got me up to this very moment. And uh, becoming a thinking into result facilitator was definitely a big, big, big event in my life. So I'm in Valleyfield, Quebec right now because I have to get some more potable water. I have to pick up a couple things here. And to be honest with you, this is the uh, closest city where there's uh, some uh, stores that I can go into so I can get out of this heat. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna go and waste some time in Giant Tiger, but Giant Tiger is my favorite store. And then uh, maybe Canadian Tire. I Yeah, I was just in the IGA. Anyways, I'm just trying to get out of the heat and it's so air conditioned in there. It's a relief, instant relief. So that's what I'm gonna go do. And then I don't know, I don't know. I just know I still can't be around people right now. Like I don't even feel like uh, visiting anyone. I need to be by myself. That's what I do know even though I don't know much right now. I know I can go, it's my turn to go through this light. Okay. And we're at Giant Tiger. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just,
is so ir it's it's very irritable irritating like I'm so irritable right now I'm just so clammy like yeah so I'm probably gonna be I've been wanting I should say I've been wanting to uh, head out of this area but I started spending time with my mother and the father and um, and I'm enjoying that right now it feels good in my heart and that's where my uh, heart led me so yeah um, I'm happy that I got over the hatred that I once had towards towards them and I'm happy I'm not living with that um, monster within that um, yeah it was living within me for many many years so I'm happy that um, yeah that monster is no longer there even though you know the monster comes and visits every now and again but I know how to handle that monster now so I went into Super C, I went into the IGA, I went to Giant Tiger, I went into Canadian Tire, I got my potable water, um, but anyways, and all I bought um, in all of those grocery stores that I went into was some fresh green beans and some uh, corn on the cob, three of them actually, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to take you up and over this hill because... shirt out it's soaked Whew. oh yeah I think my brain is frying because I can't even think of anything to say you know and yet I had a whole bunch that I was gonna you know make a video and I had all you know say this tell them that and now it's just a bunch of blah 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 everything all over the place like oh well I guess I'll call it my ranting video Oof. I don't know okay despite all my complaining and everything about how hot sticky humid and unbearable it was today you know it was in fact an experience this was uh, an experience and that's what life is supposed to be about different experiences and that's what I'm trying to do and aiming to do uh, yeah now that my heart is telling me to be uh, making videos I don't want to be making videos just for the sake of you know putting something out there you know I want it to be you know I don't want to waste your time I don't want to waste nobody's time actually and so I just want to put out oops <laughs> I want to put out like good content uh, so also right now because of the trauma I don't handle obligations very well at all so I can't say oh I'll have a you know video for you every Sunday or every you know Monday or whatever I can't do that because like I said obligations they don't work with me right now if I'm obligated to anything uh, it causes anxiety working on it like I said I'm in therapy and um, I'm just trying to become a better version of myself um, I don't want and I don't need any material things I just need my basic needs to be met um, other than that I the only thing I want is to uh, help people and that's the truth but that's 
what I usually do if there's a solid line I just kind of uh, pretty much pull over for them because uh, uh, yeah that causes me anxiety too I don't like people behind me it just ruins my therapeutic country drive get off my ass actually they don't even have to be on my ass they just have to be seen in my mirror and that's too close yeah I just kind of anything I do it doesn't matter if I go to uh, say a beach one person there and ruins it for me you know so there's a lot of things that I need to work on and being able to talk to uh, you and make it feel like I'm talking to you and not the camera that's a, a big goal that's why I haven't really been telling my story yet because I just don't like the way I sound in video it just sounds so un I just don't sound authentic sounds like I'm trying to uh, you know fool myself but it's just the way I sound when I'm talking to a camera right now working on it so I um, besides hate the seatbelt I became a certified life coach it'll be nine years next month so yeah it was September of 2012 September 20 3rd or 24th, I believe, that I became certified through uh, the Proctor Gallagher Institute. Um, as a TIR facilitator, so like I mentioned, with that title, um, you can call yourself a mentor, consultant, life coach, pretty much put whatever label you want. Is, uh, the point being is... Um, like I mentioned, this is one of the, I would say, I have one of the best programs in personal development and to set like personal goals and business goals. Um, I would have to say it's one of the best programs on the entire planet. So it's not like I have anything against the Proctor Gallagher Institute. Oh, Jesus. I just... Uh, I'm just more than a salesperson and that's the way I feel because yeah I just felt like an imposter um, and a lot of the training is in sales they I always teach you sales 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 so you know I mean everything in life is you're selling something anyways right most people are selling themselves short but you know what I mean? If I want to be free, I've got to be me. Not the me I think you think I should be. Not the me I think my kids think I should be. Not the me I think my family thinks I should be. Not the me I think society thinks I should be. Not even the me I think the Proctor Gallagher Institute thinks I should be. If I want to be free, I've got to be me. Yes. And that, like learning how to be yourself, I know with experience that it has got to be one of the hardest things a human being can do in a lifetime is being their true authentic self. <laughs> When we're programmed to be anything but ourselves, and that's why, you know, most of us find addictions just to, you know, find temporary relief, you know, because we're so unhappy. Yeah, anyways, that's another video.